Hello guys, today I would like to talk about uh, Bosch induction wrench. This model is HII 8056C. It's a uh, 30 inch wide. So let's start with the top. Top has two heating elements 6 uh, inches. One here 9 inch and here 11. This one is a control panel. Okay, so when we look at that, my drawing here, you can see like uh, in front we have two same elements 6 inch, 1400 in normal mode, and uh, 2200 in uh, speed boost. And on the back we have one element 9 inch, 2200 normal mode and this is a speed boost and same here speed boost the same number and this one has 2600 9 inch and if we talk about uh, boiling water I put on the back left element uh, 3.5 liters of water so with uh, cover on the top it took like 14 minutes in normal mode and the speed boost it took uh, 8 minutes and on the center 11 inch uh, element it took on the speed boost 7 minutes if we talk about this position it's a bit weird I would say but they still uh, need to put somewhere electronics that's why probably you have that kind of position one is here another is here one is here and next to it you have that the biggest element uh, 11 inch and you have some place of unused space here so talking about uh, yeah where is a small disadvantage uh, how they designated areas because uh, on other models brands you can see like uh, drawn circles around each element here you don't see that and it's barely visible so when you put that uh, cookware you should look for that line and align it that way. It's not that really comfortable. Sometimes you kind of try to see where you put it uh, if it's not well lit. Like you see. So to start the cooktop, we just put the finger here. And you see it's lit on. We put the cookware here. And you can choose the element like that. So let's get back to here. You can choose uh, power like that. And you can choose intermediate uh, value as well like that. So you see that very small dot here. It means like 2.5. To turn it off you press on 0. This is how you turn it off. Also you have speed boost as I mentioned before, so for speed boost you just do that. And it's gonna work at its maximum. And talking about speed boost, uh, the cooktop uh, split in groups and uh, it means that uh, speed boost will work in this section only for one of the elements here or there. The same goes here, you cannot turn on speed boost on both elements at the same time together. So only this or that. Okay, let's get back to what also you have here. You have the functions called auto chip and you have two heaters here auto chip. One is here and another one in that place. And uh, after chief means you should use the Bosch frying pans, which you can buy at their store. They have three models there. It's kind of uh, calibrated to auto cook something, whatever what you can uh, cook in the frying pans. However, auto chief is only for frying something in frying pans and not for boiling in uh, water whatsoever. So we turn it on. We choose that uh, element, we do auto chief and now you can change what you want to cook and how. They have a table in the documentation so you can see how you can use it. Another thing, there is a timer and there is a cook time. So what is the difference? Let's say we start to cook something on this one 
and we put one and you can now turn on timer and uh, now you can put let's say three minutes and actually when you see this it's a cook time and that arrow means it will turn off this uh, heater once uh, three minutes elapsed and another thing we have kitchen timer which looks like that let me try it okay let's turn it off off now you see that bell sign so this bell means just a kitchen timer it's not gonna turn off anything so we put six minutes and it's, once it's done you will hear the beep side of that to turn it off we do timer zero I guess okay this is how you turn it off and talking about cooking time you can set the cooking time on all four heaters independently cooking time will turn on once you choose the heating element you should choose the power you want to use and now you have cooking time same goes on another heater we choose the power now we can choose the and now you see arrow here this one is blinking because once you remove the cookware it doesn't sense the element so it will stop provide heating there and then you can also lock the panel see so now whatever we do it doesn't react at all okay so moving on the next one we have here uh, oven uh, controls and when we look you already have some uh, buttons for quick uh, access for some features so let's look at that here you have panel lock let me try that panel locked Have oven light you have warming drawer which is on bottom probe now you see I connected the probe and you have uh, that uh, sign there uh, we have some modes like bake convection bake convection roast fast preheat broil convection multi rack you have here the button for more modes now you have convection on broil this is warming you can put some uh, food to keep it warm this is mod for pizza and it will cook different kinds of pizza frozen not frozen etc uh, hold on a sec this is the proof so it's gonna help you to rise your yeast dough uh, bread dough this is roast and this is convection over and back you can uh, reset the screen now here you have kitchen timer, oven timer and self-clean and this one settings you have set clock you have temperature mode which you can change from celsius to fahrenheit brightness low medium high volume low medium high clock mode you can change 12 hours or 24 hours auto convection off on button beep on off clock on off language english french and temperature of set means what you can um, calibrate your oven if it doesn't uh, match what you set on the dial and let's say if it less or higher when desired you can adjust it for that setting okay looking into the oven you have a light on the right you have a, one light on the left as well you have a convection fan on the there this one is the probe which comes with it here you have a plug for the probe you plug it like that so once you insert it in the food let's say turkey or something you set up the desired temperature and uh, it will stop cooking once uh, the temperature reached the range came with three racks i just only saw two it's quite spacious, quite big. 
you have a warming drawer and it's the way it's made it's pushed to open this is it it's not quite high but I guess it's enough for keep warm a lot of food so thank you guys for watching please press on like button and share with your friends